Hello everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well through this whole year. Um, in this video, I am going to tell you guys about um, some books that may be great for a beginner who is uh, just studying magic and doesn't know where to start. It was tough for me. Um, before I had books, I had just internet articles and websites and the occasional run-in with the person who practiced, so I basically had to teach myself. So uh, if I can help you guys by recommending some books, I'm going to do it. Okay, so the first book is The Art of Psychic Protection by Judy Hall. And this is a picture of Sobek, an Egyptian deity who is actually a very good defender and guardian. Um... And she delves into why she chose this for the particular book uh, cover. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, it tells you all things on how to ward off attachments and things that people might send to you from a negative source. So it all boils down to just protecting yourself spiritually. And I've learned so much from this book. And I really think that is great. It even has some relationship advice for, you know, if you are both witches. So it has um, for defending your partner as well as yourself. So it is a really neat book. I read the whole thing and I'm definitely going to read it again. But it definitely delves into a lot of techniques and spiritual ways on how to defend yourself against evil spirits and the like. Another book that I really liked reading was Wikipedia, and it's by two authors. It's by Sean Robbins and Leanna Greenway. And interestingly enough, when I posted that this book was so great on a spiritual site, Sean Robbins liked the comment. So um, that was amazing. And she's like, thank you. I, I th I'm glad you liked the book. And I'm like, absolutely, you're a terrific author. And uh, reading this was definitely an eye-opener. Now, I am in no way a Wiccan. Really, personally, I think Wiccan is for the lightweights. Uh, basically, they have a philosophy called, uh, it's just like, do no harm, but take no crap kind of thing. But literally, um, there's really not much... Uh, hexing in here so if you are a person who uh, likes to delve into both the dark as well as the light this would be a good for the light part but um you're not going to find any dark in here but i still think it's a good idea to research all about different spiritual paths even if you're not going to particularly follow that one maybe there's a technique in here or two that you might want to borrow so i would highly recommend wikipedia by sean robbins and leanna greenway very cool, and I love the title, Wikipedia. Another one was Everyday Magic by Semra Haksever. I hope I uh, spelled that right. Rituals, Spells, and Potions to Live Your Best Life. And it even, I think that's like a version of the evil eye to ward off evil. So that's pretty cool that it already starts you off with some protection. And it really just delves into uh, different spells that you can do in the appropriate phases with the moon. So it teaches you how to um, be in touch with the moon's phases and what spells are great for doing it at that time. Also, it has tons of recipes for spells that include like herbs and crystals and oils and has all kinds of recipes. So it's really neat. Uh, they have tea recipes, they have um, yeah, moon phases and uh, what spells are good for which phase of the moon, using pendulums, uh, utilizing tools and spells. So, really great book. Now, um, we're going to go with this one. A little bit of Wicca. This one is by Cassandra Eason, and um, I've read a few books by her. She's really good. And reading this book, it, it really just dives into the fundamentals and the basics of Wicca. Uh, it doesn't really delve into like anything advanced, but um, it's good for beginners. 
Uh, it has elemental magic. It has, um, similar to the everyday magic, it tells you uh, what phases of the moon are best for which spells, invoking uh, different elements and utilizing the pentagram, and so much more. It, it really delves into a little bit of everything, the basics of a lot of different magic types. So that is really cool. I really do like it. The Good Witch's Guide. Now, I know what you're thinking, but what if I'm not a good witch? What if I'm a little bad? Rawr. Don't worry, I'm not incredibly a completely light witch myself. Uh, but it's still good to utilize different light spells. The Good Witch's Guide. And this one is by Sean Robbins and Charity Bedell. And it has a really cool, uh, extensive um, encyclopedia of different herbs that you and what uh, spells they can be used for, oils, teas, all kinds of different things, uh, tonics, uh, tons of potion making, really. Uh, so this is, I know you can hardly see the cover, The Good Witch's Guide by Sean Robbins and Charity Bedell. Now this one, this one I love. Uh, if you guys wanted to study astral projection, which can open up the door for a lot of psychic abilities. So if you uh, wanna open up your psychic channel, I highly recommend uh, utilizing this book and uh, researching spiritual um, uh, abilities like astral projection. This one is called A Witch's Travel Guide to Astral Realms by DJ Conway. And I really love the uh, the cover art. It is really beautiful. Now, I'm sad to say that DJ Conway, the author, ha she died um, some years ago. And I didn't know it. And I'm like, oh, that's sad. You know, now I can't really contact her. She's also the author of Celtic Magic, which I have not read yet. But I have a feeling if it's by the same author, it's going to be great. Basically, this uh, takes a version of the Astral Realms from uh, a witch's point of view. And it really tells you how to get into the spirit world and how to make things happen and strengthen your magic by going into the spiritual world and by uh, going into an altered meditative state. It's really cool. And she uh, tells about going back through time using meditation, going through um, Atlantis, um... She goes back to ancient Greece and ancient Egypt, to different temples and teachings and places. She's met so many people just through the spiritual, and she also has friends who've done this, and they uh, she posts their experience through here. It's a really informative book. I honestly was on the edge of my chair when I was reading this, and I just started reading it again. This is an amazing book, so if there's any book that you are going to get for Astral Projection... A Witch's Travel Guide to the Astral Realms. Now, guys, I, I want to point this out because there's not a lot of th uh, things that I... Um, I don't really agree with everything that she may say, but that's because this is just her opinion. This is just a book with someone's uh, experiences and opinions on it. So if you don't exactly agree with the author, do not worry. That's why you read more than one book about a topic. It's good to get other pe other authors and other people's opinions and experiences because not everyone has the same opinion and not everyone has the same experience as you. So uh, if you don't agree with something, fine, fine, but keep reading. Keep reading because there might be some things you do agree with and maybe you try things that may work or do not work. That's fine because not everyone learns in the same way. So if you're going to get... Um, books on a, uh, a certain subject of the spiritual by different ones by different authors you can buy if you like one by one author like i've done with celtic magic sure but uh read from different ones so this one i would highly recommend a witch's travel guide to astral realms by dj conway here's another book about astral projection it's actually the first book that i read about astral projection it's called demystifying the out of body experience by lewis monero I've learned so much from this book. It's a really thick book. And it this guy actually looks at astral projection not through the standpoint of a witch. He is not associated with the occult 
uh, really, he's associated with um, psychic work and uh, spiritual work. He's a parapsychologist. He actually has uh, taught many classes. He's done this since adolescence, and he actually lectures about this. So um, he really knows what he's talking about, and he has actually uh, he's written in here stories from his students that they have told to him when he taught them. So it's actually pretty cool. It's not just his experiences. It's about other people, his friends, his students, so many others. And I've learned so much from this book. And it's actually where I've gotten the technique for um, Velo. So uh, you can read about this in Lewis Monero's Demystifying the out of -body Experiences. And it's an actual practical uh, science book. So utilize it. Now, guys, this isn't really about magic so much, but um, when you are working with spiritual stuff, you're going to want to learn sometimes about spirits and ghosts. Uh, I realize that not everyone watching is from Michigan, but this was a really good book, and I did learn quite a bit uh, about ghosts also from this book. This is uh, Ghost Stories of Michigan by Dan Asfar. Uh, I've read this more than once, and it has so many cool things. Michigan has a lot of cool stories, and this guy is actually a ghost hunter, and he uh, investigates different places around Michigan with his team, and he um, documents the finds in this book. So it's actually really cool, and he tells him what he's learned about ghosts and what you can learn about ghosts, too. So I would really highly recommend um, some kind of book about ghosts, uh, in your witchy library. Ghost Stories of Michigan by Dan Asbar. And um, depending on the state you live in, I would also look up books based on um, ghost hunters that have been in your state too. Uh, that might feel a little bit <laughs> closer to home, you know. Um, all right, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys some recommendations on some really good books that really open my eyes to different things and they're all by different authors and from different things they're really cool books and i really would highly recommend that you add them to your own personal library um if you have any um recommendations yourselves uh please tell me and i i'll i'll want to buy the books <laughs> and um if you like this video please subscribe and Hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my new updates on videos. And guys, please share the hell out of this video. I'm trying to get a fan base here. Um, from where I'm filming currently, I don't have really any subscribers. So please feel free to share with as many people as you feel would utilize this information. I'm really trying to get this information out to the world, trying to get a fan base. I'm trying to reach as many people as I can. So uh, parents, grandparents, friends, uh, relatives, colleagues, um, associates, business partners, anybody. <laughs> uh, that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and I will see you later. Bye-bye now.